Hey guys, sorry for the delay. Um, I just wanted to make a video of updating you guys on where I am with med school. So I'm halfway through my second year, probably more than halfway through, which means that step one is approaching and I have to start focusing on that. Um, I am going to be toning down my extracurriculars and I think that at some point you really do have to. When you do is up to you, but I think I've done a lot and I should just kind of hold back. So I might be just doing the ones that involve patients, but my research is going to be going down. I already told my PI that I can't, that I need to cut down a little. Um, I did go to a conference this past week, so that was really fun. It was ASCO GI. It's a cancer conference and I got to do posters there and it was really great. And I mean, a lot of the talks were way over my head and meant for like really smart physicians and researchers, but it was cool to just see like how intelligent people are in the medical and research field. And it was just, you know, hopefully I could absorb some of that intelligence. But I have been trying to start studying for step one and I've been basically trying to use resources along with my classes. Um, they started doing physiology my second year, so I've heard that BRS physiology is a good one to look at. Um, there's also the more in-depth version. It's by Constanzo who, or Costanzo, whoever made the BRS version, and it's just called physiology. So I also recommend maybe looking at that if you need to have the more in-depth explanations for physiology. Otherwise, this is like a very good review thing. Also watching Pathoma as I go with my lectures and I should probably start watching old ones because I cannot remember things about what the renal system when we just learned that renal system. So I should probably work on that. And then going along with first aid as well. I bought the 2017 edition. Watch every year you're taking the test, you should get the newest um, first aid. And it's only like $38. And I mean, I would think $38 is a lot, but when you see how much you're spending on everything else, um, you have to. Um, I've been trying to rewatch sketchy micro videos and try to get those organisms stuck in my head. I've been doing my flashcards. I bought USMLE RX, and I'm hoping that doing questions will kind of help me realize what I don't understand yet and kind of help me see how they're going to ask questions because you can learn the material but until you see um, how a person is going to like present in a case then you don't really know how to answer the question so like for example fake one question that I saw is like this girl comes in and she was depressed or she had some um, psych condition and then um, she had a lot of alcohol, but she was experiencing a lot of symptoms. And you had to realize that those symptoms were related to the antidepressant or um, monoamine oxidase inhibitor that she was taking. And that if you take that with something called, with any food that has tyramine in it, I think that's how you say it. So that could include cheese and alcohol. You can have a like slew of symptoms. And you had to know that. And they just asked it in a way that they didn't specifically say that it was a food with tyramine. You had to know that food with tyramine includes anything with cheese or like alcohol. And you had to guess that she was on a monoamine oxidase inhibitor. So just knowing that that's how they could ask questions is, I think it's good for me. And then I'll buy you world, um, maybe three months out from the test. I don't know when you're supposed to use UWorld and it's frustrating to me, but I've heard that people start using it at the beginning of their second year. I've heard people save it only for their dedicated period and I've heard people just like use it random times. But the consensus what I've heard is do questions, um, do questions and try and start reviewing earlier rather than later. Like I'm not like, you know, going full out step one study mode, but I'm definitely like, trying to review things, try to understand things and make it easier for when I do go into my dedicated study period. Um, second year has overall been a lot harder than first year just because, I mean, no one really like cared what you did first year. You just have to like pass. And I mean, the same thing goes for a second year in that regard, but you are, you really need to know the material a lot better your second year because this is the stuff you're going to be tested on. And first year, you know, you're just like, a, you just have to adjust. And that's really hard. And in the moment, it feels 
really, really hard. But when you look back, you realize, oh, it actually wasn't that bad. But to all the first years, I recommend you guys actually enjoy your first year, figure out how you study well, um, get to know your classmates. Second year, I recommend you guys actually like kind of use step materials as you go just because then you'll get accustomed to it and you can see what the high yield, God, I hate that phrase now, what the high yield information is and that'll be really helpful for you guys down the line. I definitely recommend Sketchy Micro, um, First Aid, Pathoma, I'm gonna have to use UWorld. But yeah, um, this year has been so far like hard but also really fun just because I've been able to do a lot of research and go to conferences and I get to go to Orlando next month for another conference so I'm probably gonna go to Disney World by myself because no one else I know is going to this conference but that's fine it's okay like who needs friends at Disney just kidding but um, yeah so basically from the moral of that story is also try and do some things to keep you sane um, I like you know, having something special every like month or three weeks. So like I've been, I'm kind of getting tired of the traveling, but like I had this conference this past week and then I'll have this, another conference in like two weeks and then it'll be spring break. And I am studying during spring break, not like super intense, but I will try and study at least four hours a day. And just, you know, I don't know. I feel like I have to, but who knows what'll actually end up happening, but that's my goal. Um, I heard that you it's up to you whether you want to study over spring break or not. Some people use it as time to rejuvenate, some people use it as time to study. I'm going to kind of use it as both. I'm very much the advocate of doing like multitasking. So like over the summer when I did research, I was in awesome New York, but also I was doing research. So I definitely believe in combining things. So I'm going to be having, like I'm going to be hanging out with my friends during spring break, but also studying. Um, so just distributing my time properly. Um, if you guys have any questions about second year, um, let me know. If you have any questions about what I'm doing for step one, please let me know. Um, hopefully I can get through it and then give you guys more videos on what I did for step one overall. Because right now I'm still learning too, which sucks, but I'll figure it out hopefully. Um, everyone, you know what? We can all do it. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know and thank you for watching.